G'day, welcome to Carrie's instructional videos. Today I'll be instructing how to uh, tighten up the head uh, of a barrel if you have a leak. Um, generally this occurs uh, if the barrel hasn't been properly rehydrated. Uh, as you can see on the side here, there's some red lines, uh, which means that when this barrel was first filled, uh, probably wasn't rehydrated properly, and the wine's worked its way through those joins, and then eventually the barrel has taken up and uh, leaks have stopped. Not a major, but it's nicer if you can avoid it by rehydrating properly. However, um, if you do get a leak like that, or sometimes around the headboard, or just in between the staves, just a very minor seepage, um, the best thing to do um, is to just knock up these rings. So you need to use one of these um, Cooper's tools, very useful piece of equipment, and every uh, cellar winery must have one. The first you have to do is just check to see if the, the rims have had, we've got nails, as this one does. So you need to remove the nails first. And you can see, I don't know if you can see this, it's like a small little uh, T-shaped nail. Um, just hang on to these. Um, if you accidentally snap them, or break them on the way out, then just get a, another nail and cut it to length and bend over the end. You don't want to have a nail that's too long. So we'll keep that. Um, and then, there will also be a nail on the other side. So assuming we've removed that, just pick up your Cooper's tool and give it a knock and working your way around the barrel all the way around back to the top keep going you might have to do this two or three or four times um, just doing it evenly on all sides and what that'll do is just tighten up the oak um, and if you've got any leaks around here along here um, and that will just push those staves together and tighten up that leak. And you need to do that for all of these rims. So start with that rim, and then this one, and then last of all the head rim. The head rim generally is protruding by a few mil, so you, you easily have a, a couple of mils to play with. So obviously you need to remove the nails first. This barrel is fully rehydrated now, so there's no need for me to um, knock these up but this is an example and these are the best tools and uh, the first thing you should you should try when you have any leak